Hello dears, today we are going to discuss the Newton-Raphson method. Newton's method is also called Newton-Raphson method. It is one of the most powerful and well-known numerical methods for solving root finding problems. Suppose that f belongs to C2ab, that is f is twice continuously differentiable function. Our aim is to find the root of the equation f of x equal to 0. Let P0 belongs to AB, close AB, be an approximation to P. Let P be the uh, root of this equation, uh, that is f of P equal to 0. And let P0 be an, uh, an approximation to P, such that f dash of P0 is not equal to 0. And absolute value of P, P minus P0 is very small. Consider the first Taylor approximation for f of x about P0 and is evaluated at x equal to p is f of p equal to f of p naught plus p minus p naught into f dash of p naught plus p minus p naught all square divided by 2 factorial f double dash of zeta of p where zeta of p lies between the root p and the initial approximation p naught. Since p is a root we have f of p equal to 0 so this equation is given by 0 is equal to f of p0 plus p minus p0 into f dash of p0 plus f p p minus p minus p0 all square divided by 2 factorial f double dash of zeta of, zeta of p. Now we assumed that absolute value of p minus p0 is small. So the terms containing p minus p0 all square is much smaller. Okay, so we can ignore this term. So we will have this is approximately equal to 0 that is f of p0 plus p minus p0 into f dash of p0 is approximately equal to 0. So solving for p from this equation we have this is actually p minus p0 into f dash of p0 is equal to minus f of p0. So p minus p0 is equal to minus f of p0 divided by f dash of p0. So we have uh, p is equal to p0 minus f of p0 divided by f dash of p0. That will be the first approximation. So, initial approximation we have taken as p0 and the next approximation p1 will be this p0 minus f of p0 divided by f dash of p0. So, uh, by using, so here we have only need to find uh, the derivative f dash and the an initial approximation p0 to obtain the p1. Now after obtaining P1, we can use the same formula for finding P2. That is P2 is approximately equal to P1 minus F of P1 divided by F dash of P1. So replacing here P0 by P1, you will get this second approximation P2 and so on. So in that case, we will get uh, after choosing an initial approximation P0, we will we can generate a sequence pn for n equal to 0 to infinity that is we get a p0 p1 etc p2 etc so we will get a, a sequence of approximated rules okay so we can express the uh, equation as this pn is equal to pn minus 1 minus f of pn minus 1 divided by f dash of pn minus 1 for n greater than or equal to 1 so if we replace n equal to 1 here we get p1 is equal to p0 minus f of p0 divided by f dash of p0 that is this formula and if we put n equal to 2 here we get f p2 equal to f uh, p1 minus f of p1 minus f, uh, divided by f dash of p1 that is this formula and etc. So we will get uh, a, a sequence of roots or uh, approximated roots for the equation f of x equal to 0. So this following figure illustrates the approximations. That is, uh, here we have let this be y equal to f of x. This be the curve y equal to f of x. Our aim is to find the root of this equation uh, y equal to f of x equal to 0. So from the figure it is uh, known that this will be the root of the given equation. So uh, if you are taking an initial approximation p0, if we are, this is the p0, now this point is the uh, p0 comma f of p0. So now uh, p1 is actually the x-intercept of the uh, the tangent line 
uh, at this point tangent line of this curve at this point that is this is the tangent line so the x, x intercept of this tangent line is this so we are taking this as p1 okay now to find p2 we are finding the point that f of p1 so this will be the point f p1 comma f of p1 and then the tangent line will be this so this tangent line intersect on the x-axis at this point that point will be p2 that is the x-intercept of uh, this tangent line at p1 is the p2 now to find p2 p2 is actually the x-intercept of of the tangent line at the point p2 f of p2 or at the point p2 and so on so uh, then we will uh, approach us to this point okay p0 is this p1 is this then p2 is this so uh, this p0 p1 p2 etc this approaches to the original root p okay that is the illustration of uh, this method now we can discuss an example Consider the function f of x equal to cos x minus x equal to 0. Approximate a root of f using Newton's method or Newton's Raphson method. So here we are given that the function f of x equal to cos x minus x. We have to find the root of this equation f for cos x minus x equal to 0. We know the formula for Newton's Raphson method is pn is approximately equal to pn minus 1 minus f of pn minus 1 divided by f dash of pn minus 1. So for this we need to find the derivative. So we have f of x equal to cos x minus x. So f dash of x is equal to minus sin x minus 1. And we need an initial approximation. Uh, we can take initial approximation p naught as pi by 4. So we have from this when n is equal to 1 this is for n greater than or equal to 1 so for n is equal to 1 we have p1 is equal to p0 minus f of p0 divided by f dash of p0 that is equal to p0 is pi by 4 so pi by 4 minus f of pi by 4 divided by f dash of pi by 4 that is equal to we have uh, this is pi by 4 minus f of pi by 4 is f of x equal to cos x minus x. So f of pi by 4 is cos pi by 4 minus pi by 4 divided by f dash of pi by 4. f dash of x is minus sin x minus 1. So this is minus sin of pi by 4 minus 1. So this is equal to pi by 4 minus cos pi by 4 is 1 by root 2 minus pi by 4 divided by minus sin pi by 4 is minus 1 by root 2 minus 1. So using your calculator we can calculate this as 0 0.73953613337. You can just verify this. So this is the first approximation P1 for the root. Now the second approximation is obtained when replacing n equal to 2 here. So we have P2 is equal to P1 minus F of P1 divided by F dash of P1. So this is equal to P1 equal to this. So this point actually 0 0.73953613337 minus F of P1 is F of P1 is cos of x minus x of cos this cos of 0 0.7395 etc minus that point that is uh, 0 0.7395 etc divided by f dash of p1 we have f dash of x is minus sin x minus 1 so uh, this is minus sin of 0 0.739563 etc minus 1 so calc calculating this we get the value 0 0.73 9085178 this also you can verify so we obtained the second approximation p2 as this in a similar way we can find the next approximations p3 p4 p5 etc so you can just verify that the approximation will be this for n equal to 0 we have uh, that is n equal to pi p0 is pi by 4 which is this 
and this is p1 this is p2 p3 p4 you can just verify uh, by finding this so here we can see that uh, the third and fourth one that is p3 and p4 agrees that is uh, p4 and p4 uh, p3 and p4 are same so an excellent approximation is obtained when n is equal to 3 so p3 we can take p3 as the root of the given equation so you just verify this now you can try to do these problems yourself